10 Steps to Stay Motivated What is self-motivation? According to Merriam-Webster, the definition for being self-motivated is when an individual is driven by their own desires and ambitions. The motives for their actions are internal, originating and emanating from themselves, not an external force or entity. Why is it so important to be self-motivated? Being self-motivated is crucial for achieving and maintaining the following. A. Overall health and well-being. B. The accomplishment of your goals and desires. C. Healthy relationships. D. Self-discipline and accountability. Here are 10 tips to help maintain self-motivation. 1. Practice gratitude. Practicing gratitude, according to Merriam-Webster, means that a person is thankful and appreciative of benefits received or discomfort alleviated. The human mind can only experience one state of consciousness at a time. You cannot be filled with gratitude and anger at the same time. The next time you are tempted to complain or have a pity party as a reaction to a perceived negative experience, I encourage you to take a minute to reflect on the things that you are grateful for. Determine to be very intentional about being grateful and expressing this gratitude every day. Two, develop a healthy self-esteem. According to Cherry 2022, Self-esteem describes a person's overall subjective sense of personal worth or value. In other words, self-esteem may be defined as how much you appreciate and like yourself, regardless of the circumstances. This may include, but is not limited to, self-confidence, feelings of security, identity, sense of belonging, feeling of competence. In order to develop a healthy self-esteem, take the initiative to examine yourself to see where you are in this area. Always remember, you don't have to handle this alone. You may seek the services of a counselor, therapist, life coach, etc. Three, know what you want. Create a detailed vision of your desired results. This may seem like a very simple thing to do, but it isn't really. What you want in life is directly impacted by how you see yourself. Your belief system dictates how you respond to your life's experiences. You will never reach for something that you believe you are not worthy of having or is possible for you. Four. Have a clear purpose for the achievement of the goal desired. Why do you want your desired goal or experience? What is your inspiration and motivation? This will determine how committed you will be to the process of acquiring it. Some thoughts to consider. A. Is the goal really yours? Or are you seeking validation or approval? B. Do you feel pressured in any way to accomplish it? If yes, think about the reasons why you feel that way. 5. Invest in yourself daily. Thought to consider. How much are you willing to invest into the accomplishment of the goal? It is wise to note that investment means more than money. In order to stay motivated, you must determine to invest in yourself daily. Here are some of the ways you can do this. A. Prayer and meditation. I believe that this is essential to any goal-setting strategy. A part of living successfully is the knowledge of how to prioritize. As an individual, you are multifaceted, and as such, in order to live optimally, I am of the opinion that a holistic approach to life is best. In other words, you have to take care of all parts of you body, mind, soul, and spirit. B. Engage with material and activities that will encourage you to stay inspired and motivated. 
An example of this would be to do research on public figures who have achieved the goals that you want to achieve and find out how they accomplish their success. If it resonates with you, you may follow it or use it to create a version that suits you better. C. Formal education and training. 6. Develop your skills and talents. All of the persons who have achieved notable success had to work on themselves daily to develop their skills, talents, and habits that support the achievement of the desired outcome. We are all diamonds in the rough in one or more areas in our lives. For example, if you desire to be a singer or motivational speaker, hire a voice coach. If your finances don't allow for that right now, subscribe to the YouTube channel of a reputable one. There are many out there. There are no excuses to get started. High achievers in various areas work hard daily to perfect their craft. What are you doing to perfect yours? Be willing to explore more than one of your gifts. Give yourself a chance to be great. Stop putting your light under a bushel. Matthew chapter 5 verse 15. Seven, use your imagination and creativity. Imagination and creativity are two of the greatest gifts you have been given. It is with the imagination that you visualize the goal desired and with that clear picture, you determine daily to work towards its achievement. Creativity is crucial in so many ways. It is that spark that helps you pull out the inner light and genius and share it with the world in imaginative and meaningful ways. It helps you to find ways and means to accomplish your goals when you would otherwise be tempted to give up based on perceived impossibilities, circumstances, and conditions. Eight, surround yourself with individuals who are exhibiting the characteristics you would like to possess. Fuel your goals and visions by surrounding yourself with healthy examples of good success. This may be done in several ways, individually or in any combination that works best for you. The following is by no means an exhaustive list. A. Read books by authors who have achieved the same goals that you desire to achieve. B. Subscribe to a YouTube channel blog, website, newsletter, etc. that shares information that resonates with you and engage with the material in its entirety often. C. Join a community that shares your values and visions. This may be done in person or online, whichever works best for you. Nine. Find an accountability partner, group, or coach. An accountability partner, group, or coach is someone or a group who helps you to achieve your goals by doing the following. A. Offering guidance. B. Holding you to your commitments. 10. Create a habit of being positive. Our world is in the midst of global dynamic change. For our overall health and well-being as a species, I believe that we must be intentional about being positive. Every day we should make it our business to look for the good in each person, situation, or circumstance and focus on that. Every day, carve out some time in your daily schedule to do the following. A. Express gratitude for the many blessings in your life. B. Marvel at the beauty of this planet we call home. C, ask for guidance. And D, make a daily decision to be happy. The choice is yours.